Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Today, Phoebe and I... Hi Phoebe! Yeah. What are you wearing? It's a hat and an apron. And what is it, a Winnie the Pooh one? And what is that you are holding? Not down there, I know what Harry. that is. Harry. Wear a nappy because he want to wear it at night time. Why is he wearing a nappy? Because he want to wear it. And who is Harry? She is a prairie dog. Prairie dog, okay. Um, like, well, do you know what a nappy is in America? What do you know what they call a nappy in America? No. A diaper. Can you say diaper? A diaper. Amazing. Okay, so today we're doing a really funky recipe. They're called Pepper Noten, I think it is. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing this, um, someone sent me a message saying, you're a cool dad. So I was like, yeah, I'm cool. Um, cool, dude. Give me some skin. Yeah, okay. So these are all the recipe ingredients you need. Very, very minimal. In fact, they're all there. Uh, so just hit pause on the video and write them all down. We had to substitute a couple of ingredients because one of them is aniseed and I will never make a video with aniseed and I will never give this girl aniseed. You become the devil, okay, if you have aniseed. Do you understand me, Phoebe? Yes. Okay, good. We so I'm going to tell you, look, we are the chefs. You're the chef apron today. And a chef. No, 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 no apron for me. You're the chef, dude, okay? Yeah. Right, I'm going to tell you a little story about this pepper note and then I'm going to make it. It's so quick, so easy. You are okay, a okay. chef. Right, I'm ready. Are you ready? Give me some skin then. Oh, keep doing it. Yeah, keep doing it. Keep topping it up. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, let me see you. Woo! Woo! Yeah, cool. Are you ready? We're both ready now. Right, Phoebe's got a mixing bowl. Now, some of the ingredients. Like I said, aniseed. You need a teaspoon of anise if you want to use that. I'm not going to use it. Don't go near it if you can. Um, and also, specu las cruden, which is very similar to mixed spice. So that is what we've got here, and also a pinch of salt. Okay, that's in these three shot glasses. So I'm going to get Phoebe to put those in in just a minute. In fact, you can do that now, Phoebe, while I start to tell people about this story. Can I do it now? Yeah, pour them in a little bit, and uh, let's tell you about this story, I'm going to get this up here. Okay, so Inika sent me this message, and it says somewhere around the 13th of November in Holland, can you say Holland? Holland. Where's Holland? A museum. A museum, okay. Children get really anxious because Sinterklaas and his helpers, Zwart Peten, are coming by steamboat all the way from Spain to Holland. How cool is that? Is that cool? Yeah. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Why? Why? Because Santa Claus is a real child's friend like Santa and he wants to celebrate his birthday on December the 5th. Do you want to celebrate it with him? Yeah. Alright, cool. With all the children in Holland he wants to celebrate his birthday and they call that night Pax Servond. Okay, I probably pronounced that wrong. Similar to Boxing Day, the children get presents and everyone is singing traditional Santa Claus songs and enjoying typical Dutch Santa Claus treats. And Pepper noting what we're making is one of those treats. So, you got all those in there, mate? What have you done there? That looks good. Are you happy? Yeah. Wicked. Right, so, now you're going to crack your egg. Can you crack your egg for me? And I'll carry on telling the story. Oh, why don't you crack it on this jug that's got a sharp edge? Yeah, and then in the bowl? In the bowl? Yes. Okay. So put your shell in that spare bit there. In there. There is no shell. There is no shell. Good girl. Right. The two weeks before Pascal Zabond, which is roughly around the date now, November the 13th, are full of exciting visits from Santa Claus and Zwart Pete to more schools, etc. And children are allowed to make wishing lists and drawings for Santa Claus. Would you like to make a drawing for Santa Claus? Yeah. Maybe we'll do that in a minute while we're, you know, we're waiting. Uh, in the evening, they sing songs and put a carrot in their shoe. Have you got a shoe? Yeah. We're going to put a carrot in the shoe right now. Hello, mate. What have you got there? A carrot in the shoe. So what are you putting the carrot in the shoe for? Yeah, it's like Santa. Can you can you say Santa Claus? Santa Claus. Amazing. Give me some skin. So if we leave that shoe out with a carrot in it, someone might come and give presents. Are you excited about that? Yeah. What present would you like? A pizza. Would you like an apple? No. No. <laughs> I want a washing and a pegs and a washing and a washing and a store and. Uh. And a washing. Okay. Okay. Just. And, 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 um, That's enough now. That's enough. You, you've said enough. And a wash. You've said enough, I think. No, I haven't. <laughs> um, I wash it. Okay. I think we know that you want quite a lot of sort of washing utensils yeah, and stuff. These are playthings. She's not going to be child labour for me. Um, we'll I see want what we can do. A washing line as well. Okay. Washing line. Well, we put your carrot down on the shoe. 
Put it by the back door. Put it down there, mate. Put it down there. And then put the sh carrot in the shoe. There's my shoe down there. I'm not going to put a carrot in it. Yeah. Go on, then. Put the shoe by the door. Yes. Amazing. All right, let's uh, carry on cooking. Okay, so I'm getting Phoebe to pour in the honey now, and while she's doing that, make sure you get it all in there, and you can brush it with a spoon like this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, let me hold the bowl, and uh, you can brush it in. Okay, so the carrot is for Santa Claus's horse called Americo, and he's a special horse because he is able to walk over rooftops a little bit like a reindeer. Now, while there's water peating that enter people's houses through the chimneys, which explains why they are black. Okay, so we've got all the honey in there, like so. How are you doing, Phoebe? You okay? You want to give that a little mix together? Just give it a stir, like. Let's just finish off this story. So, Santa Claus is a very wise man, but can't work without his loyal helpers. There's Wart Pete, which I'm probably pronouncing wrong. Even though there's Wart Pete and sometimes mess up situations, they always do their best to fix it. And Santa Claus trusts them, doesn't he, Phoebe? Yep. Yeah. Why does he trust them? Because they can help. Of course. Exactly. And one of the nice things of the Zwart Peaton is that they don't only have gifts, they have candy as well, which they scatter all around the place in houses, through the mailbox, etc. And they don't care, they are here to share. Which is kind of like our motto, really, isn't it? We want to share, don't we, Phoebes? Do you care? Yeah. Give me some skin. I love you right now. I'm feeling quite emotional. This story's getting me. Um, that's it. So there are many kinds of treats they can scatter, but traditionally it's crude noten and pepper noten. No, 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 don't do that yet, mate. Ah. Yeah, so we're making pepperonoten, and this is what we're doing. That is why we're doing it. A bit of a long story, but um, I'll probably put a description about it and uh, read up on it. It's kind of interesting, I guess. I always thought Santa Claus was the only one. Anyway. Okay, so, you're getting your hands in that self raisin flour. I don't know why you're doing that. You're going to look like... Uh... Okay, I'm not going to say that. Right, put that in there. Right, what are we doing to the flour? Are we sieving it? Yeah. Right, so tap that. Tap it. Tap it hard. Tap it harder. This is going to take a while. We're sieving our self raising flour, get it all in there. We're gonna work it in together, baby. Two-handed motion, I'm loving that, even though you look like um, like a seal. Arr, 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 arr. Okay, so we have finished sieving that in there. Phoebes, grab that spoon that you've got and you're wiping down. You don't really need to wipe it down, it's all good. Just stir it all through, nice and gently, otherwise you're gonna get it everywhere. Nice, good girl. Let's see what's happening to this mixture. Do you wanna try and fold it a little bit, like this? Try and lift it. Try and lift it over. Do you wanna try and do that? No. no, you don't want to try. Oh, just stir it then. Go for it. All right. Right, we've actually had to tag team this. It does get really stiff, but as you can see, it's all bonded together. It's got a sort of funky, darky, brownie yeah, colour. Go on then, mate. Right, we've nearly done on it, to be honest. Look how sticky it is, okay? And it's obviously brown because the, the colours of the spices that we used. What we need to do is put it in the fridge now for around about 45 minutes to an hour. So, Phoebs, I can't fit this bowl in our fridge. Would you mind spooning that mixture out and putting it into this little bowl that we used before? I'm not going to worry about that stuff on there. That's all good. All right, let's go for it. <laughs> is it going to work? I don't think this is going to work. Right, just get your mixture in the bowl. Okay then folks, we put it into a smaller bowl like this, which will fit perfectly in our fridge just down here. It's going to leave it for about 45 minutes and uh, I'm going to tidy up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so you might have a little bit of a flowery mess there, which your kid might want to eat. I don't know why she wants to eat flour. You don't really want to do that, okay mate? You understand? Yeah. So, it's a good thing because we're going to get the flour out on the table a little bit anyway, and then roll it out to make our little pieces that are going to go on a baking tray like that. It's really as simple as that, only going to be baked for around about 10-15 minutes. Simple, 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 simple. Simple. How are you doing? You okay? When is a presents are gonna come? Uh, what for your carrot shoe down there? Yeah. Um, we'll come in a minute. What do you want? Some presents. And some presents. Phoebe, Phoebe, what are you doing? Waiting for Santa. Waiting for Santa? Are you in Santa Claus? Right, so as well as washing up, I'm gonna quickly go and get dressed as my version of Santa Claus. I don't, look, I don't even know what he looks like, and I'm just gonna try and surprise Phoebe. That's all the best I can do. Okay, it was pretty short notice, but this is the best I could come up with. Um, yeah, check that out. Um, I don't know what to say. One thing, Phoebe really, really wants the Lion King uh, DVD, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide that in a washing basket and see if she likes it. 
okay, so it's the middle of the day, I'm gonna be kind of embarrassed out there, all my neighbors are looking down at me and I've got a shoe with a carrot in it. They're probably thinking, oh my God. And to be honest, so am I, but I'm a dad and this is what we gotta do sometimes for our kids, okay? So uh, I've hidden in the washing basket the Lion King DVD. So let's just put this in there. Phoebe's upstairs in her room looking down out the window. So I'm just gonna stand there with a the shoe waving going hello and maybe she'll walk through the door and uh, <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. Come down little girl. Come down and get your present. Yeah. Quick because I'm looking like an idiot. <laughs> She's not coming down. Come down. <laughs> Hello little girl. Hello little girl. What's your name? Hello. So nice to meet you. Why am I doing a silly voice? You asked for a washing basket, didn't you? There's your shoe and your carrot. Have a look in the washing basket and see what you can see. Sorry about this. What can you see? That's my favourite. <gasps> Do you like that little girl? Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Our work here is done. Okay then guys, uh, Phoebe seems to think that I am actually Santa Claus, um, so we're going to just carry on with the character. Hello little girl, what's your name? Phoebe. And what's my name? Santa Claus. That's right, and do you love your mummy and daddy? Yeah. Who is your favourite, mummy or daddy? Mummy. Uh, can we ask that question again please? Mummy. No? Daddy. Yes, good girl. Right, what we've got is our dough here and we put some flour on it and we've got a big rolling pin. So scatter some flour on it, just put some, sprinkle some on, like that. And we're gonna roll it out nice and flat, okay? So it's all nice, when you pull it out first of all, it's very sticky, okay? So just roll that out, Phoebes, with your rolling pin. Okay then guys, so we rolled that out nice and thin and Phoebe's been playing around with the flour, it's all good. She needs a little bit more development on the rolling out process, I gotta admit, but we'll get there. So what I've done is cut away a little bit with my spoon like this, and there's almost enough to fit into the spoon, but I've rolled it up into sort of like a, a ball shape that will sit on the baking tray, like that. So all we're gonna do, and I'm gonna let Phoebe do this now, do you wanna cut away a little bit, mate? Yeah. And roll it into a ball. So we're gonna do this, Fill up our baking tray and I'm just going to go in the oven for around about 15 minutes and then we're going to eat them. Okay, so those are the ones we've made. Some of them are quite big and with the self raising flour they may expand. That is an advanced warning, we'll see what happens. And I've made some teeny ones as well in another tray, spread them out a little bit more. So we're just going to get them into this oven here. Notice how the child is a safe distance from the oven, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's go in there. About halfway through, about seven minutes in, we're going to spin them round. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> and then we're going to eat them. Yeah. Okay, so we've taken those out of the oven and I was actually a bit worried that they were going to bond together, but they didn't. They actually risen as they are and brown nice and they smell good. What does it smell like in here? Um, for, for Christmas. Smells like Christmas? Well, it's not Christmas at the moment, thank you very much. I'm Santa Claus. Sorry. I'm right, okay. Daddy. I'm, oh, I'm daddy now, am I? You suddenly realised? Cool. Right, okay. Take one of these. Let's have a taste as well. Let's go for this I little one. You're going for that one. They're still all nice and warm, it's aren't they? A I'll have a big one, shall I? No, I'm sorry. That's not a small one. Check out the size of that. Okay. Oh, my moustache. I forgot about my moustache. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like? They're yummy. They're yummy? What can you taste? I can taste the honey in it and the cinnamon. Me really, really good. It does smell really good in here, actually. I smell honey and egg. Honey and egg, okay. I can taste honey and egg. Mm hmm Good work. Right. So, if we can make that absolutely anyone in the world can, have a go for yourself. Let us know how you get on. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Bye.